the cyberpunk anime it fucking slaps dude honestly they did not have to go that hard on it i just got done watching it legitimately like 20 minutes ago brother in christ why was it so good i have not really been keeping up with like any new anime as of recently but i am so glad i decided to randomly watch the cyberpunk anime on netflix because holy shit dude what a goddamn gem that has bestowed upon my soul dude i loved this show so much now listen everybody uh, obviously i had to bro i had to make a video on this anime man uh after i got i just got done watching it now i have not uh well i guess i technically have i've played uh cyberpunk 2077 but i i don't really have that many hours in it i think i've only played like three hours or something like that um i'm not really the biggest fan of it if i'm being honest obviously i'm not that deep in the game so i can't fully judge it like that but um i don't know enough about the game to point out like certain easter eggs or certain correlations uh from the anime to the game and vice versa like that might enhance other people's watches um that played the game and whatnot but somebody who basically i don't know jack shit about night city or you know the original cyberpunk lore and shit like that so i went in basically blind all i know is that you know the original cyberpunk had keanu reeves in it you're breathtaking this one has uh, <laughs> uh giancarlo esposito uh gus fring uh for my breaking bad people out there hello and welcome to the los pollos hermanos family my name is gustavo but you can call me sus uh so i guess you know it's a fair trade out here so yeah i'm just gonna get this out the way you really don't need to know anything about the original uh i think at least like there was nothing that was like confusing to me um when i was watching it like it wasn't like i was like what the fuck is happening or anything like that i mean it, it kind of you know you pick up on things like you know obviously it's cyberpunk so they use like cybernetic enhancements in the body and, and whatnot and things like that right so it's not really hard to pick up on you know certain cues let's get down to the real me and potatoes of everything dude trigger CD Projekt Red, man. I'll even give you some props for this, bro. Congratulations. You guys got yourself a banger, man. You guys got yourself a banger here, bro. Trigger did their damn thing with the animation, dude. The aesthetic of this is phenomenal. I love the music. I love the style, the setting. I loved how it didn't feel like, you know, like a traditional anime. Obviously, you know, it has... Uh, american influence western influence with the cyberpunk and shit like that right so you know obviously it's not gonna be you know your you know normal run-of-the-mill anime and shit like that i watched it in english also so that even added to the experience it just it was just something fresh and different that i i loved it i love that so much about it bro i love that man so congratulations cd project red trigger you guys are fucking killing it right now with this characters too the characters too bro the characters too like i said before man it's not really that common for me to connect with the characters on a certain type of level i can like the characters but like when i watch a show and it ends and i feel like damn bro i'm low-key depressed right now you know you did something right and the funny thing is is that the anime is only 10 eps only 10 episodes bro and i guess it's not really a gripe it's not really a, a con but i just i wish there was more you know you know i i wish there was more of cyberpunk edge runners dude the shit was slapping bro and like i was enjoying myself and all of a sudden it was over now i guess this is a little bit of a negative but there are certain parts in the anime where i do feel that it is like I wouldn't say it's rushed. Well, no, nah, okay. Uh, there, it's a little bit rushed towards the end. I'm not gonna lie, but like, it's it goes super fast paced sometimes. Like, shit is just going at like a hundred miles per hour, right? Especially towards the end. There are like five revelations, like plot revelations, in like the last five minutes of the show, bro. Like, it just goes just like that man and then like the ending i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna spoil anything by the way so you know you don't gotta fucking keep hovering over the mute button or keep covering ears and shit like that bro like but like you know the ending is very abrupt in my opinion it kind of just like cuts off and i'm like damn bro 
where the fuck is my closure at i mean i feel like that's kind of what they were going for here i don't know if there's gonna be a season two i don't know if this is just like some promo type deal obviously with the 2077 cyberpunk but like brother i i, I needed a little bit more i feel like they could have they could have stretched it out maybe like the 12 episodes at least then you know it could have been like some regular degular anime type deal but they had to cuck us they had to cuck us with the, the the 10 episode fucking debuff bro i really need to go into spoilers if i'm actually going to talk about this show so you know what i'll let you guys know when the spoilers are over i'll have like a little disclaimer on the screen so right now i'm gonna be talking about spoilers bro three two one all right bro listen 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 man the rebecca death was so unwarranted. I feel like they really just put that in there to fuck with us, right? How are you gonna kill off one of the characters that was there from the beginning, bro? She really was the ride or die girl, man. I'ma keep it a hundred, bro. I was fucking with her more than I was fucking with Lucy. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. Legitimately, all she had to do was just like stay in the car and she would not have gotten crushed by Adam Smasher, which by the way, sounds like a complete like fucking male porn star name adam smasher bro really i hate that we only got like a little bit of adam smasher i, I, I think he's originally in the uh the actual game and and he's supposed to be like overpowered because he's like super fucking overpowered here right and he was pretty badass bro i i really liked him but he he kind of just shows up and fucking claps he just claps uh d's cheeks and then he just fucking leaves bro and another thing dude uh d um bro this guy like i actually liked him a little bit more pre time skip because there is like a little bit of a time skip right there's like a little bit of a time skip and they like go like a little bit forward or i don't really know how long it is in the future but like he turns like super buff and he has like a lot of cybernetics now, right? Because he's like rich and shit and cause he's been doing jobs. He looks kind of goofy now. And like even towards the end, like literally when he's in this big mech suit, he's legitimately just a torso and a head. Now I think that's supposed to be like some type of symbolism, like as he gets closer to um, his death or I guess, you know, the cyber psychosis, which is like, if you have too many cybernetics in your body, you're basically like your brain can't handle it or something like that. And you just go fucking crazy. I, it's supposed to symbolize that. I guess like he's just losing more of himself and, and whatnot. So I guess that was pretty cool, but he, he just gets fucking annihilated by Adam Smasher. I cannot stress that enough. He gets like, it's basically a one-sided battle. I mean, obviously he was at death's door basically already, but like, goddamn, dude, he he literally he legitimately gets shot in like the last two minutes of the show, right? And then it cuts to Lucy going to the moon to do her her goddamn um you know her wish to go to the moon. You know, Lucy and Dee they had like their little thing going on, which I actually I enjoyed it for the most part. I enjoyed their little their little love thing for the most part, but she goes to the moon. And then like it just ends i'm just like bro there's no there's like no closure man i don't know why it kind of like i kind of grinds on my gears a little bit bro i feel like i just needed a little bit more of that um it, it was kind of sad though it was really sad i'm not gonna lie bro this is definitely a, an emotional anime dude like i was surprised by how like emotionally invested i was in like so many plot points and so many characters and, and things like that it was really emotional and really gripping too really enjoyable bro all right that's enough spoiler talk though if you guys haven't seen this and you just listened to my whole rant about all those spoilers um you just did yourself a goddamn disservice i'm telling you that right now bro because seeing that like blind was a uh, <laughs> it was a crazy trip and if you skip the spoilers um you're, you're lucky because I was talking spoiler spoilers. I'm telling you, boy. But yeah, dude, I'm glad that this anime is getting uh, a lot of recognition, a lot of hype. I'm glad that a lot of people are, are really liking it because uh, definitely I, I really enjoyed it a uh, fuck ton, bro. Um, I feel like anime is really starting to pick up, um, you know, as we go into the October season. Obviously, we have Chainsaw Man and whatnot. Um, I think JJK season two just got a new key visual, bro. Shit is just, it's hyping up right now, man. Like I, it's, it's heating up. This is what I wanted, bro. This is what I've been missing from the anime, bro. Like I, I'm glad, dude. I feel like I'm, it's, it's drawing me back in. I was taking a break. I was, I was falling back. I was doing my thing. 
cyberpunk edge runners i i'm woke now bro i am woke my boy all right everybody uh that's about it though uh make sure to go check this show out if you haven't seen it i'm telling you the show is super dope uh, it's definitely something different if you have been getting kind of bored of you know just you know isekai stuff and and you know you know regular anime things this is definitely a breath uh, of fresh air yeah i like the show a lot so i wanted to talk about it today and now i'm done talking about it so uh i guess uh, i'm gonna say goodbye to you guys thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video all right goodbye peace